question is compare India and Sri Lanka on basis of three indicators of HDI. Like I've been telling you guys time and again, guys, social studies, no ratta. Guys, social studies does not always mean like you're going to uh, become ghazni one day. So social studies is all about evaluating the facts. For example, whatever video you guys watch, it's always like you guys interpret the facts out of it. You get the best out of it and then, you know, probably put to use the same sort of uh, stuff. So in this case, it's very important that you guys know what is HDI, what does HDI stand for. So before we jump on to the answer directly, I would probably expect you guys to answer what is HDI. HDI stands for Human Development Index. So in this case, because GDP is of course not the only, only and only indicator that would probably reveal the real picture of what the country is doing, how well is it progressing, um, what are the fine parameters the government is working for. So in order to have a deeper insight of the people, their living standard, their life expectancy, literacy rate, whatever they are earning, it's important to take into consideration this special index that is Human Development Index, right? So the very first introduction is going to be Human Development Index is used to compare uh, the countries based on three fundamental parameters. The very first parameter is going to be, now they've also added or uh, distributed the educational parameters into two dimensions, I would say. So the very first thing that they're going to stress is PCI in US dollars. So I'm going to tell you why we've been comparing, uh, you know, I've got this question time and again that why is it US dollars that we use to compare the economies with? Uh, why can't we use any other currency? Uh, why is it that only and only we use US dollars? See guys, um, I'm going to put it right across the table and in a very easy format that US dollar is a hard currency, whereas Indian rupee is a soft currency. Technically, it might sound, you know, sound really difficult for you guys to understand by what I mean to say when I use the term that, you know, US dollar is a hard currency, whereas Indian rupee is a soft currency. Okay, so I'm going to explain you what, what I mean to say that it's a hot currency or it's a soft currency. When I use the word hard currency, that means that currency is probably more stable because the country does not have uh, a lot of uncertainty associated with its political and social scenario. Like more of uh, stability is there in that country. The stock market is not prone to a lot and lot of fluctuation. There's no appreciation or depreciation of the currency for that matter rather the currency would is smooth going it's like easy to compare with because the political uh, strength of that country or the political uh, fluctuation is not to that extent what the other countries are facing but in India the political and the social situation has not been that certain and that uh, you know stable over the years so that is why Indian rupee every now and then you see that either it's uh, you know appreciating or the use of word depreciating with respect to US dollars. So it's like going up, down, one dollar is equal to 47 rupees or maybe one dollar is equal to 67. It's like appreciating or depreciating. So that is why we call Indian rupee as a soft currency and US dollar is the hard currency. But yes, there's a difference. Hard currency does not mean it is a very strong currency as well. So, okay, getting started here. So the per capita income in US dollars, you're going to code this. The second feature is the life expectancy at birth. That's the second parameter related to uh, HDI. And the third important parameter is literacy rate that they've divided into two columns dimensions. The first is gross enrollment ratio. And the second one is the literacy rate 
for plus 15 years of age because we understand a person is literate uh, of seven years of age if he can read and write in his own basic language right but in this case the literacy rate is considered for plus 15 years and then the second dimension or parameter is the gross enrollment ratio with this we can conclude with these basic parameters we can conclude the country's ranking like how well the country is performing the more or less the score is the better performing the economy is for example in this case if i talk about sri lanka let's say score is 93 and india score in 2004 so the hdi index is like they come up with this index they change the parameters uh, sorry they change the figures and then a new index is released every year so they've been asked you've been asked to answer the hdi for 2004 so you're going to start with hdi stands for human development index it has three basic parameters you're going to first explain the three basic parameters and divide it uh, the third parameter the education part can be divided into four uh, in the further two dimensions and then you're going to analyze and compare see guys it's clearly mentioned you're supposed to compare so when i say compare please make a chart so that it becomes pretty obvious and clear for your teacher to go through the contents and the information supplied by you now let's go on to the second question set okay what is human development report again this chapter is all about development all about development so what is human development report which organization now they've come to the point that which organization major measures human development report and explain the three major indicators so of course we know the answer to this question you guys know the every answer to every question is known to you guys because you guys have gone thoroughly with this gone through the syllabus it's only how you're going to present your points see guys do you see that the question has been divided into three sections so probably you can expect this question on the lines of a three mark question all right so what is human development report first we're going to explain human development report is talking about or it studies about the well-being of human beings based on various parameters may it be education may it be their health may it be so you have to underline if you're writing it in this format you have to underline the word parameters and then if possible please don't write it in and commas try to write all these parameters in bullet points for example the first is health the second is going to be education third one is going to be per capita and so on you guys can go forward right so this way it's going to go in length and of course it's going to be very easy for the teacher to reach out to that point second question that they've asked is which organization measures hrd so please don't jump to the answer that you know hrd is uh, or the report is measured or presented by undp so that's not the case of course it is presented by undp but you have to make sure that you give its full form that's united nations development program is the authority that is concerned by you know with respect to release of this report and then coming on to three major indicators so you have to make sure now you're answering the third part of the question here so before you kick start with these three basic points that you guys know that quality of medicinal facilities available the education level that's here you are talking about the health here you are talking about the income and here you're talking about the per capita income that you're going to compare uh, convert every country's per capita income in us dollar so that it becomes feasible and easy for every country to probably analyze their status with respect to other countries so i hope this point is clear so first point that you're going to give is you're going to put the heading the three major indicators of HRDR number one first you're going to talk about health then mention this code then you're going to talk about education and then you're going to quote this statement and finally you're going to talk about income level and quote this statement and that too done in US dollars and here you go so 
towards the line towards the conclusion you guys can of course mention that hrd is uh, giving a better insight into the country's uh, working as compared to gross domestic product or GDP because this only and only measures the monetary value uh, or considers or talks about the monetary aspect or the final cost of goods and services that are produced in the domestic territory of the country but however ignores the human factor which is well captured by HRD okay guys so I expect this question is pretty clear to you. You've given a good introduction. Then you've uh, given answered the second section of this question. And then you've highlighted the third section where you, you are going to put it in the pointers. Like first is the education part. Then you are talking about the health. And finally, you are talking about the income part. Okay.